Okay, the Great Pyramids of, well, the Three Pyramids of Giza. And, well, actually, like, I've, we're just going to draw it from the Vesica, and it's just this really, really, really simple, easy format. And from simplicity comes, well, Fibonacci numbers, firstly. So we have uh, the Fibonacci numbers and the Lucas numbers. Now, both of them will lead us towards the, the golden ratio, but we also have the three pyramids famous at Giza. So we have the Menkara pyramid, which is 125 Egyptian royal cubits high and 200 wide, which is a 5 to 8 ratio. Then we have Khafre's Pyramid, which is 274 Egyptian royal cubits high, and at the base 411, which is a 2 to 3 ratio. And that's that one that still has the capstones at the top, often confused with the Great Pyramid. And then we have the Great Pyramid itself, which is 280 royal Egyptian cubits high, and at the base 440, which is a 7 to 11 ratio. Fibonacci numbers. Okay, the Vesica Pisces. Now that's a 2 to 3 ratio. One to three wide, one to high, two to three, which is calf rays, but Fibonacci numbers one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, but that's more than enough. Lucas numbers one, three, four, seven, eleven, eighteen. Seven to eleven, that's the uh, proportions of the Great Pyramid, seven eleven, also Maidum pyramid. Now this 2 to 3 ratio, you also find it in these unfinished pyramids which tend to have a base of 100 Egyptian royal cubits. But okay, it's not. So this is not just a gate, this actually def defines so many of Link's other pyramids. So Great Pyramid, Maidam, uh, these unfinished pyramids uh, point towards this 2 to 3 ratio, Vesica ratio, which is also F Fibonacci ratio, Menkara pyramid, 5 to 8, also a Fibonacci ratio, which again, all these will point, get closer and closer to the golden number. But you can draw those in and use it to create a, draw a spiral. And I'm missing a text somewhere, it's fallen, but anyway. Begin with a construction line. Because I all want to fit it into camera, I'm going to start with a small vesica. Well, let me, hopefully I'll get it all into, fit into camera. Okay, with that we now can draw a construction line, cut it down the middle, which gives us a 90, 90, 90, 90 degrees. Excellent template for all sorts of constructions, keeping the compass setting without changing it. Mark the top, mark the bottom because you want to create this two to three rectangle. Do that again on either side, draw an arc. Draw an arc again. And now we change the setting point on the middle to the, again using the vesica to give us these proportions. And what we've done now is created the points we need for this two to three rectangle. So now the rectangle enclosing the vesica two to three ratio. And now what I'll do is actually extend these lines out because this will help in the later construction. Because I'm using a thick point, okay, I'm a little bit, if you draw it properly, take your time, thin point, this will perfectly line up.
and what we already have is the, the cross section of Caffrey's pyramid which is a two to three ratio which means it's just two three four five triangles which is also defines the upper chamber in the great gallery and again so many other of these smaller lesser known pyramids as well okay so that's a cross section of Caffrey's pyramid it's a three four five triangle three four five on the other side but also what we okay before I go so back to the Fibonacci numbers so first we have Caffrey's pyramid two to three two to three Fibonacci numbers two to three and now I'm going to draw an Ankara pyramid and create that which is a five to eight ratio five to eight Fibonacci numbers now you can do this with a spiral the important Fibonacci spiral or Lucas and a Lucas spiral but to begin with which way will be best to work for you know to do this spot what you need to do is to set the compass to the longest edge of the rectangle which would be there Okay, it's the first part of us. It's only a quarter circle. So the longest edge of a rectangle, a quarter circle, and it will create this. Now, I also want to mark out that point. Because what we have now is another larger rectangle, which will grow closer and closer to the golden number. So original rectangle, two, three to two. Now it's three to five, two plus three. Actually, I'm going to extend that one out. Yep, I'm in camera. So now we have a three to five rectangle. Extend the, find the longest edge of that rectangle. Set the compass to there. Okay, I need to extend this line out a little bit. And with the compass still set there, you can just also mark out this line, which will give us the next rectangle, which is a five to eight rectangle. And we've started to create the spiral. And five, so now it's two, three to two, three to five, now five to eight, five to eight. Uh, well, if, of course, because it's going to build by, grow by Fibonacci ratio, but also five to eight is a proportion of Menkara's pyramid. So what we have here are the, all the points you need to do that pyramid as well. So it's very clear. Now I'm going to, what I want to now find is the exact midpoint and I'm going to do that just by bisecting the line. All you need to do is extend the compass to over halfway. Just eyeball it. Draw an arc. Do the same on the other side. That now cuts this line in half and I only need to mark the that portion because now we have a five to eight rectangle which means that the triangle on the inside is going to be a eight wide to five high and there we have the plan of Menkara's pyramid now of course these are not in proportion but you can just build up the proportions once you have the angles is the, is the, the difficult part you just increase your or decrease units of measure so now we have Menkara's pyramid which is 125 high by 200 wide, 5 to 8, 8 to 5. Caffrey's pyramid, 2 to 3. And now we go back to Caffrey's plan, or the original Vesic of his 2 to 3 ratio. What you also have is 
well, this rectangle here is one to three. So we can to construct the, the integral that's built into the proportions of it. So we have now a one to three, which are the first two of the Lucas numbers, one and three. And this is gonna lead us to one to three, three to four, four to seven, seven to 11. That's the ratio of the Great Pyramid, my dorm, and well, it's also built into so many other ancient structures. Now, which way will be the best to do it? And not for me to get outside of the paper. Again, you just, so we, one to three, find the longest edge of that rectangle. Quarter circle. So one to three. Now one plus three, so it's a three to four, and I can mark out that line to get this rectangle. And actually I should extend that line out. Okay, one to three, three to four. Now find the longest edge. And we just extend another quarter circle. So that's the point there. Same, same. One to three, three to four, four to seven. And now, that will actually be the, that will be our point there. And now, Oop, I hope I didn't mess this up and I'm outside of the paper. Nope, I'm in. And I'll extend this line out. Should have extended this line down originally. We're still on that, that setting there. And so I can just go across. Mark, and now I have a 7 to 11 rectangle. Seven to 11, then a seven to four, then a three to four, then a three to one. So now we have exactly the same thing what we need do the Great Pyramid, 7 to 11, Fibonacci numbers, and 11 over 7 is very, 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 very close approximate of pi over 2. Now, what we need to do is find, this is the longest line, so we need to find the halfway, we do that by extending, but we're just going to bisect the line, as long as it's over halfway, you draw an arc. Do the same on the other side. You don't need to draw a whole construction line, we just need that point, that point, and that point. And there we have, although it's tilted on its side, we have the Great Pyramid, 7 to 11. Fibonacci, Lucas, from the Vesica, gives us the pyramids, and not only the three, get, because well, there are other ones connecting, the, um, and the St. Menkara, Caffrey's Great Pyramid. That would be the Great Pyramid there. Caffrey's Pyramid here. 
Menkara's pyramid here. Once you've got the proportions, it's just a matter of counting out the units. But what we have is, we begin with a vesica, and then we grow a spiral from the same vesica to the three to one, grow a spiral, and what you have are pyramid plan. Circles and lines, compass and straight edge, and bang.